Hi, let's have a look at the highlights for library administrators in AODOC's Release 51. We have revamped the document class configuration. In the library administration interface, the class list is now organized alphabetically. And you can access a more actions menu on each document class. We have improved the display of the custom properties. On the Properties tab, you can now modify existing properties in a collapsible panel. New to Release 51 is the ability to group your properties into sections. Create property sections to better organize your document information. You can drag and drop existing properties between sections and within sections. Here is how sections look for end users on the document page. To add properties, there's now an Add Property button. You can select the property type from the list. If you select a category property, the available categories are listed for you to choose from. Or, you can use the Add Category button to create a new one. It will be created at the library level. During the creation process, you can choose an existing section for your new property. Or, create one. With the aim of making the document class configuration more user-friendly, we also revamped the Security tab and the Advanced tab. From the document class configuration, you can now access the templates associated with the document class and the workflow if one is configured. For this release, we have revamped the Workflows Management page it's now organized in three tabs. From the Email Templates tab, create your own customized email templates. We're always working on improving your user experience. For full details of all the changes in this release, Read the release notes and check out the highlights video for end users. See you next time.